So giving you a little update on the 3304 for my 963. Um, ended up going with cat cylinder liners and pistons. Um, ended up doing cat everything, cat bearings, pistons, liners, gaskets, you name it, it's Caterpillar. Um, I was kind of held up at the machine shop for a little while. Um, so when I pulled the liners out, um, some of the shims came out with it and getting them off the liners, I kind of warped them and I wasn't able to reuse them. So what we ended up doing is I had two new shims made go up under here, up under the liner. Um, it had previously been counterboard pretty deep, um, almost a quarter of an inch, almost to the max spec uh, without stacking them. Um, but anyways, I left it alone. I didn't counterbore anything, cleaned them up, had two new shims made. Um, after they were made, it was put number one, number four down here. Um, and then I had the block deck. Um, there is a little bit of surface rust. It's been sitting here for a couple weeks. Um, I took this little Brillo pad and you can tell, I mean, it, it comes right off. It's just a little bit of surface rust. I used Dawn dish soap to, um, to lube the liner O-rings and they say you're not supposed to use, I know a lot of people use engine oil, but cat doesn't, doesn't want you to do that because I think it does something with the O-rings, it swells them up or whatever. Anyways, they went in perfectly fine, no problems there. Um, I'll try to insert a picture of the rear gear train before I stood it up on end, but that's where, I'm trying to think. That's your main hydraulic pump goes here and on the back side down there is your pilot pump. Um, Everything's torqued and turned. That's how these are. 30 foot pounds, 90 degrees, rods and mains. Um, so the problem I'm running running into right now is the camshaft. So when I pulled it apart, um, I noticed it had a lot of thrust. And I was like, well, you know, that's kind of odd. Maybe they just didn't put the thrust washer in. Well, that's what I thought come to find out this is the thrust washer. I thought there was supposed to be another piece in there. Um, as you can see, it's got a little bit of motion. Got a pretty good, pretty good uh, groove there. So anyways, the only way I know to fix that is replace the camshaft. Well, through Caterpillar, they won't sell you just a camshaft. They want to sell you the lifters or tappets, um, whatever you want to call them. Um, you know, it's about almost a thousand dollars for that. You have to uh, take your gear off, which is no big deal. I think they just bolt on and you tap them off. But anyways, I don't know what caused it. Um, almost afraid to, to do it again. And I, I noticed it because this piece right here is super sharp and it had worn to the cam bearing too. So I'm not, I'm not sure what caused it. I'm just gonna put a new cam in it. Um, check the thrust on it when it's done. If the thrust is in spec, I mean, I don't know what else to do. Um, there's no backlash to set on the front gear train. So I, I'm not 100% sure, but this is where I'm at till I get a camshaft and uh, get the balance shaft. I've got the balance shafts, but I wasn't gonna put them in yet. I just haven't had the motivation here lately to do anything. But um, got the oil cooler and the oil lines put on. Of course, this filter's just kind of hand tight. Um, but yeah, this is where I'm at. Marking all my hardware, just a habit. So. But that's her. Um, once I get to the point, I, I could right now I could go ahead and put the the intermediate front cover on. Um, I just haven't had time here lately. But yeah, that's where it's at. I would I don't have a, a ratchet out right now, but it spins free. Well, 
if you've ever spun one over with pistons in it, you know what it spins like, but. Yeah, it's got new cam bushings, or um, I'm sorry, balance shaft bushings. All the holes are lined up. So, anyways, just going to give you guys a quick update, and hopefully in the next couple of weeks I should have it uh, ready to sit on it. I just got the reman cylinder head today, so I don't guess I ever showed you the old head. There's a water line inside of here. So, I don't know if it's cracked down in there or what. It's getting a new head regardless, so. Anyways, that's gonna be it for today's video.